Hi guys, Joe for Prepping the Woods here. I uh, want to say first, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Um, hope everybody's doing well. Um, this video basically is going to be about 10 items I bought off Wish that I think the value is there and it's a good item. Um, so I want to show you and if you would have picked, if you did a search on bushcraft or survival or something like that, these items odds are would have popped up and if you thought about them or not, then at least you know I can show you now if they're good or bad or if they're worth it to you instead of you buying it and wasting your money. So let's have a look now at our 10 items and we'll see if you like them or not. So the first one I want to start off with is this watch. Now I've been using this watch for a couple of weeks and I'll put up all the dates um, from when I bought stuff or not. Um, some pros and cons on this watch. Uh, it's listed as a wild camping survival bracelet, flint fire starter, gear buckle, watch compass. And that's the description of it, well, the whole title of it really. Um, it's seven pounds plus four pounds for shipping. So you get a generous amount of um, paracord here. There's your little um, ferro rod there, your whistle, and then your scraper. Everybody's seen these before. Now, the width on this is really, really good. It's, it's really wide, so it's like double cobras on that. Now, this bit here, I just want to show you. So, you have, you have a compass here. That one works. That one clock there, that works. You just got to tilt your wrist a little bit so you don't confuse yourself. Um, this one is for um, time difference. That's why I put it for. So my mom lives in California, so I just had to her time there. So I know what time when she calls me. This one's supposed to be a thermometer, which I have no clue how that works. If you know, let me know. But it seems to just spin around um, like a compass. Um, so I don't know about that one, but the rest of it is fine. It is a beefy um, size watch. Okay, so that is beefy. So if you don't like big watches, uh, this is not for you. Also comes with a little bottle cap opener, which is quite nice. Let me see if we do my zoom here. Yeah. So all in all, seven pounds. Uh, been using every day. I bump it up loads at work, and it held up fine. So that one I have a thumbs up for. Number two on my list here, next up, are these. Now I've noticed these from um, Canadian Prepper. He gave these high praise. Um, you can, they do come as little waterproof uh, plastic, which are nice. The description is a non-woven compressed disposable face towel. Now they are one pound to buy and one pound shipping. Uh, and you do get 10 of them. So. You can spread them out across your bug out bags, your bushcraft bags, you know, all the rest of them. Uh, another idea you can do is, you know, these cheap little uh, fire starter ones. Um, they fit really well in there and it holds seven. So you can fit seven in this waterproof container. Um, you also, I kept my uh, matchstick pot on there anyway, but again, it's compact, a bit more compact than carrying seven like that than a bunch like this. So. It's another option, but these are really quite handy and um, too much of a room. Next on our list is a Carapina Lock Strength Key Hook Webbing Molly Outdoor Hanging Belt Clip Buckle. God love those Chinese people and their descriptions slash titles. Um, this one cost, uh, it's free actually, it's free, but two pound for shipping. Um, this one, yeah, again, well made enough. Um, didn't expect much from it for being free, but actually it is quite well. And what I do is I hook those um, work gloves onto it and I'll go onto my uh, bushcraft belt. Um, but again, I should have bought more than one of these, um, but these are really handy. I like this. So this got a really good thumbs up on that one. I might buy some more actually. Next up is one of these and it's a, a mini 10 mil outdoor survival camping convenient aluminium or aluminum metal alcohol burner heating lamp and that's your title and description uh, cost one pound and two pound for shipping now i've done a video on this one already um and loads of people bought them and everybody says they do really well they also fit uh the uco uh candle lanterns really well so you can make that into a um oil burner um thing but i'll show some a quick clip of this one in action from my past video Next up are these, which are 
um, stainless steel wire safety work, auto slash, cut, static, resistance, protect gloves hot. Uh, they were two pound and three pound for shipping. Now I have bought these before. Um, I kept them in another bag because they were so useful. And the other ones I had felt like um, chain linked. This one feels more like fabric. Um, and this is a lot, um, like you won't get snagged on this. Uh, they do work. I only wear a left one because I cut with my right hand. But again, this one stitching was fine. Some of the stuff that comes from China, uh, the stitching, the finish on it is not great. Um, didn't have any issues with this one and they feel really good. Um, as always, I order a size up. But again, you might see these on uh, if you type in bushcraft or survival. Right, this one, you might be saying to yourself, hey, I know what that is. That's a um, silky saw. No, it's not. It's actually a silky saw um, copy, in my opinion. Um, I have done a video on this one as well. It's a kind of an old video because I've been carrying, I've been using this. Um, teeth are fine. Um, the lock is good. The handle feels well. Very compact. Um, this goes on to my uh, bushcraft belt as well. I'll show a picture of that set up um, when I finish. I'm trying to do this from behind the camera and I can't see what I'm doing. All right. Yeah. So again, this is well made. Uh, price wise, uh, six pound and four pound shipping so a tenner can you buy a better one for tenner probably um, I was buying other stuff anyway and um, I always wanted a silky saw so instead of spending three times as much I did get this one I know it's a bit naughty but I wanted to give it a go and I do like it next up uh, is these work gloves um, it says black hawk on it um, very nice padded again order to size up the finish on this is really nice uh, very comfortable um, and durable and what I did was on this one I reinforced the loop here so I put another couple of stitches on it and put a ring on it so I have a ring on each pair of these gloves and that will go nicely um, on a bushcraft belt hook them up on that one and then I'm okay with it but again, these fit really well. Good bargain for that one. Price on that one is four pound and four pound for shipping. The title on it is Outdoor Sports Full Finger Military Tactical Airsoft Hunting Cycling Gloves. So if you want to search for it, there you go. I shall put all the links in the description box below uh, to help make things a bit easier if you do like any of this. Um, again, I don't make any money on it. It's not affiliate or anything like that. I'm just trying to give you guys some budget stuff that uh, you might like or help you save a few bucks. B bucks, sorry. Right, next up is this one. Um, I've seen this a few times on there and to tell you the truth, a uh, bit of a gamble, um, but I don't have any and it does fit in the belt loop. Um, how strong it is, I don't know. I've only gotten this one today, so I don't want to say it's great or not because I actually haven't tested it out, but it was on my top 10 list because um, I don't have anything like this. So basically, this is for holding ammo for slingshots. So your ammo goes inside like that, folds up, and then you clip it down. And then that'll stop everything from coming out of the top. Here, you have your slingshot. So that goes in that way, comes out the bottom. And then over here, you have, when you open it up, that's a magnet. So you should get one ball stuck to there. Now, how do you stop the rest of the balls coming out? I don't know, because I haven't, like I said, I haven't played with this one yet, but. I'll give it a go and let you guys know in an update video. Now this one again cost, let me see, uh, it, the name of it is a hunting outdoors, no, hunting soft outdoors tactical waist bag, slingshot bag, leather pouch, shooting accessory. Uh, it was free, but three pound for shipping. So in total, I only paid three pound. So not too bad for that one. But this one, again, another item you've probably seen but didn't know what it was because I didn't and I just uh, did some investigation on it. And what it actually does is it actually sits on top of your bag. So if you got an LK-35 or another military type bag, that clips on the top and then that goes through um, one of the loops on it and then that will go to your bottom of your ruck. Um, I'll throw a picture up and show you how I done mine. Uh, again, I have a... Um, some stuff in here just to show the size of it 
Uh, this one does go on my bushcraft bag. That, that, that fits in there nicely. So I can get through quick if I had to. Again, I'm doing this from behind the camera so I can't see everything. And I can't even remember what I put in this. Uh, bug net for when I sleep out and some fire starters and stuff. So yeah. Uh, again, well made. It's quite durable. Um, I think uh, this will definitely hold up. Um, so again, I liked it. And I'll show you the better picture of it in a minute. Right, last but not least, this one I've been wearing for probably about a month now. Um, it's probably my favorite one out of all of this. Um, and I'll tell you, it is an outdoor, windproof, waterproof, multifunction men's jacket. Now, I only paid £12 for it and £6 for the shipping, so 18 quid in total. Now, this one, I'm going to go with all the pros first of this. So you can tell this is my favourite one. So, from there, you can run your headphones into that. Um, and it comes out there. And then also, from your hood, um, you tighten it up in here. So nothing's in the way, nothing hangs, which is, I like that. Um, we got a bit of a loop in here for my keys, so I hang my keys in there. And then I have a torch, fits really well in that one. Um, I haven't even done a review on this one yet, but I'm still working on it. So I'm EDCing it at the moment. But so far, it's been really, really good. So I'm happy with that. So, and that fits right in that pocket. So I'm working on my zoom from a distance here. But yeah, so. Oh, so on. I do have a mistake all the time. That's one of the problems when you have a uh, top button one, you shove it in and then all of a sudden you have a dead battery. But so you have on this, let me show some focus. That's better. Right, so you got two side pockets. I'll, I'll do a better picture in a minute. The two side pockets are good height, so when you walk and you can have your hands in it nicely, right? This one here, you got a nice, uh, good size shoulder one. Uh, what do I got on it? I got headache tablets and a lighter on that one. Um, it is waterproof. Uh, I've tested it out. We've gotten rain every day for uh, ages when I, was, when I was bringing this in. Right, so that's ventilation under your armpit there. Uh, I have used that a few times, especially when driving. Um, Again, it's just really, really, oh, this side's heavy. You put your morale patch here. And what do I got in this one? This is turning into an EDC dump. I got an O-Light in that one, and an oil burner in that one, and some tissues. But let's get back to the coat. On the back of it, um, very, very large pocket here. Now, unsure what it's for, um, it reminds me of a tactical one um, the Americans have where you, they put a gun in the back bit here but another one reminds me of a bit of a hunting one where you put your whatever you find in here but all I keep in here is another pair of um, sturdy gloves uh, I slip them in the back so that way it's not using up my front pockets um, but again for the money definitely this is a really good coat I'll show you a picture I'll show you the inside coat And I'm going to show you the cons in a minute as well. Right, so I would give this one a really high mark if it wasn't for the finish. And I mentioned that before, but there's I didn't I, let, I didn't cut these off because I wanted to actually show you because I know I've, at some point I'm going to do a video. Um, the finish on these, uh, the threads. There's threads on that one. Uh, just little bits like threads on there. Um, Inside you got a few pop out, but that's it. If they if they would have gave this a really good finish on it, um, this would I would have gave this a really good high mark on it. But yeah. see, that's it. But I, I'll fix that. But that's the same. If that if it wasn't for that, I would have gave that a really high mark. But overall, definitely waterproof. Um, comes with a hood on it. Don't worry, I'll take better pictures in a second. I'm just trying to do this quickly. Yeah, so the hood rolls up, which is why the Velcro is there. Because inside, you have a little flap here. And that just 
comes over and you roll over it. But yeah, like I said, more couple more threads there. But that's it. So that's the tenth item. Right. So that's my ten items I got from Wish that I want to mention um, that are worth the value of them. This coat again is like a really nice coat. I do like it. I do wear it every day. Again, it's just minus those threads, that the little bit. So if you don't mind trimming them off, burning them off, or if you're good at sewing and fixing that. Other than that, for the value of it, it's, it's definitely there, it's a good coat. Um, moving forward in 2019, I'm going to try to get out more vids more regularly, um, go out a bit more. Uh, looking forward to trying to get to uh, the Wilshire Bushcraft Club and a couple of meets of um, and meet other like-minded people. So looking forward to that, trying to do, uh, do that a bit more definitely. Um, I also signed up for Patreon. Uh, a lot of people I know in the YouTube community are doing it to help them out. Um, YouTube doesn't pay that much for us small channels, so I have done that. Um, don't hold it against me, but if anybody wants to donate, fine, great. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. If you don't, up to you. No pressure. You know, um, just something I want to try to add on um, because advertising on YouTube. If you ever look at my views, I don't get a high enough views to be, you know, the middle to high levels where everybody's like you know, earning an extra proper income on it. Um, I'm only like, the money, if I make a, if I make any money on this, it only doesn't cover much. Um, so I'm always out of pocket with doing the gear reviews and some of the builds and the camera and stuff like that. So, like I said, if anybody wants to donate anything, great, thank you. Like I said, no pressure, I appreciate it. Uh, I'll put a link to that description box below. Um, other than that, um, going forward, we'll try doing more videos. I'm gonna work on my editing. I'm gonna work on my thumbnails. Just more of the back, back, you know, office kind of stuff of it. Really, um, I want to be more successful in 2019. So, um, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna work on it. You know, a lot more. I mean, uh, single dad, two kids. Uh, you probably hear the smallest one in the background yelling on Fortnite. Fortnite. Um, so. Um, yeah, so I gotta look after them and then go work full time and then try to do this. So, uh, also, it gets dark here, time I get home. So, outdoor stuff. You know, so I'm gonna try to do a lot of shooting on the weekends. But thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll catch you next video. I hope this helps. If you're new here, like, share, subscribe, and um, thanks for watching again. See you later. Bye.